As for Pakistan, its record with money is exceptional. It is, after all, the global headquarters of terror financing. It has been on the FATF grey list for more than two years. It should have been on the blacklist. But like most international institutions and mechanisms, this too is turning out to be a bit of a farce. The Financial Action Task Force, the global terror financing watchdog, has proved to be toothless. In the last two years, Pakistan has failed every assessment spectacularly, and yet it evades the blacklist. It continues to operate terror factories. Our next report tells you how Pakistan has gamed the FATF. June 2018. Pakistan was put on a grey list for terror financing. It was given two years to clean up its act and 27 action points to deliver on. The deadline passed this year. In October 2020, a review was conducted and Pakistan failed. It had not fulfilled six key obligations. A blacklist was certain. But it did not happen. Pakistan was saved again, given another extension. Now it has time till February 2021. Is Pakistan demolishing its terror factories? Far from it. It is demolishing the credibility of the FATF. The Financial Action Task Force. The global watchdog on terror financing that has proved to be toothless against a terror state. To get off the grey list, Pakistan must block funding to UN-designated terror groups. Groups like the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, Lashkar-e-Taiba and the jaish e mohammad It has done none of this. The FATF assessment says as much. And yet, Pakistan remains out of the blacklist. Since June 2018, it has got three extensions, plus a four-month grace period. So how did it use this time? By pulling wool over the eyes of the watchdog. Pakistan has mastered the art. One month before the FATF meeting, Pakistan froze 964 properties of terror groups like the jaish e mohammad and the jamaat ud dawa In February, Hafiz Saeed was sentenced to more than five years in jail. In August, three of his associates were jailed by a court in Lahore. All this happened just before the FATF meeting in October. But the trials and the crackdown was just an eyewash. All the sentences against Hafiz Sahid and his allies are now under appeal. The terror activities of the Jaish e Mohammed continue. Recently, intelligence sources told Vion that the group has resumed its terror camps in Bala Court. A video recently surfaced from one of these camps, where anti-India slogans were raised. Two weeks back, Pakistan managed to secure a concession for Zakir Rahman Lakhvi, the operations head of the Lashkar e Taiba and one of the masterminds behind the 26 11 Mumbai attacks. Reports say Islamabad has been permitted to pay Lakhvi 1.5 lakh Pakistani rupees every month. Pakistan's next review is now barely two months away. Once again, Islamabad has begun constructing another smokescreen. This week, Hafiz Said was sentenced to 15 years in jail in another case. But his network of terrorists still remains intact. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.